David Hernandez, you Hi. are live on Fox 10 News now. Welcome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. So, this is pretty exciting. I yeah. mean, you are someone who has started his career here in the Valley. Absolutely. Yeah. And that career is now taking you on a national, really international stage because yeah. you were on the seventh season of American Idol. Yes, absolutely. So for viewers at home who might not be familiar with your journey, why don't we recap that for them? Well, I started off singing in cover bands here with my cover band Straight Up, who still plays in the Valley when I was about 17 years old. Um, and then I auditioned for Idol when I was about 24, and the rest kind of became history. I made it to the top 12, and then I opened for uh, John Legend at Barack Obama's inauguration, went on a national tour. Um, I released one other album, I Am Who I Am, um, and then I just came out uh, after three years of not putting out really any music, I just came out with this song, Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it was a great time to to kind of drop something that was had like a positive message to it with all like the body shaming and right. ageism going on and right. racism and um, all the shootings and especially Orlando. Um, I just thought people needed to really realize how special and important they are and love each other and themselves. Right, so I just pulled up the video on the screen yeah. for the viewers. Yeah. I'm just gonna play it in the background while we chat. Okay. So I've lowered the volume. Okay. <laughs> um, That's fine. But it really just, you know, looking at this video, you really are just showing people embracing themselves and embracing yeah. love I feel that's then that's really what I wanted to, to kind of convey to everybody I mean all the couples in this video are real couples the people that are in the video um, they donated their time 15 hours of just filming mm -hmm. um, because they believed in the song and the message that much that they wanted to just be a part of it so it was really cool being in the studio filming the video everybody had tears in their eyes just because you could feel the love and the just it was palpable you know mm -hmm. like it just such a positive energy and, it, and I think we all needed that especially with everything going on. Absolutely. So it was kind of a cool thing to be a part of. And I do want to just let the viewers at home know if you guys have any questions for David, we are streaming this on Facebook Live. So you oh, guys awesome. can go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section. I'll pull up Facebook on my phone. Okay. So I'll be able to ask some of the viewers' comments or questions as ask well. Ask away. Ask whatever you want to ask. Um, well, book. I want to talk to you more about that journey. I mean, growing up here in Phoenix and then moving out to Hollywood and really just pursuing your dream because, yeah. you know, you were on an uh, American Idol really at the peak of its popularity yeah. when everyone was watching American Idol reality TV. American Idol is no longer on the air. How yeah. do you think the music industry has evolved in the last, I guess, almost 10 years? I think it's incredible the way things have gone because as an independent artist myself, I can release music and I have a fan base and and, and I'm gaining new fans just by you know pushing it on my own. So the power of the internet and YouTube and social media right. is so incredible that you almost don't really need a, a huge label. Right. You can do this with you know independently or you know how with investors or however. But well, there's a will, there's a way. And another thing I wanted to show in this video is that you can be 100% yourself and still be successful. I know mm -hmm. there's like a stigma in the music industry, you know, where people think because of their sexuality or because of their skin color they don't have the same opportunities or can't right. have it and I want I, you know I don't I don't subscribe to that way of thinking right. anymore I really want people to open their minds and it starts with one person and then we all sort of follow suit so as long as we're continuing to motivate each other and, and you know uplift each other I think that the music industry can be a very positive place to be you know of course there's the negatives about it but I mean if you want to change it you got to start now you know you have to start doing the legwork what do you think has been the most challenging part of being in the entertainment industry specifically the music industry um gosh I think probably the lack of, of people buying buying albums anymore. You know, it's like a it's a right. single base sort of market now. Um, you know, back in the day when Michael Jackson was selling records, you know, you buy the entire album. You know, but now it's like, well, who has the hottest single or right. you know whatever that is. So you have to adapt to those things. You know, music videos, uh, the visual is a huge part of, of what's happening right now. And mm -hmm. you know, from Beyonce's Lemonade to all the other incredible videos you see out there, once you put now a visual like, with the song, you you can it's kind of it's transformative you you get it now you get like the whole entire you know concept of, of the of the record absolutely so yeah. I just pulled up Facebook on my phone so I'll be able to read some uh -oh. of the people who are commenting <laughs> okay. um, some people wanting to know about your faith someone asking if you believe in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. uh, Javon asking where can we find the video well, the video's on YouTube right now, um, and it's also on iTunes. Uh, well, the, the song's on iTunes, the video's on YouTube. Just go to my channel, it's David Hernandez. 
um, and you can find it right away. Um, as far as my faith is concerned, um, I do I do believe in a higher power. I do believe that um, we were put here by something divine, something way bigger than ourselves. Um, what that is, I, I don't know for sure. I, you know, I, I'm very um, I'm a realist. I'm also very skeptical of certain things. Um, but I do definitely uh, believe in a higher power and, and something greater than myself. Right. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I have friends that are singers out in Los Angeles, and they talk yeah. about the experience writing the music and creating the music. Yeah. And the way they describe it, it seems as if it's almost a spiritual experience when the yeah. lyrics come together with the music and something just forms into the art it's that cathar you It's seen. cathartic. It's yeah. like therapy. When I when I recorded this song, I was having a really rough day. I had some business relationships fall through, and uh, I felt like I was at a standstill with my music. Right. So I had already scheduled this studio session to, to lay down the vocals for this song, and I went in and I was pretty depressed about it, just in general in life. And by the time I got done recording the song, I was in such a positive mood. I was so uplifted. It was a therapy session for me. So I'm so grateful. I think music has saved my life more times than I can even count. So... I'm grateful to have that. And you don't have to make music for it to save your life. I mean, right. I'm sure there's certain songs you oh, well, love. There are so many that songs that have gotten through. me through life. Oh, yeah. See, ex yeah, especially, you know, breakups or like yeah, a loss of, a, you know, you lost a loved one or something. Right. Music Even has the power like to do that. Life stuff getting yeah. to you. I mean, yeah. I know I've heard this song a million times because we carry so many live Hillary Clinton events. Yeah. But Rachel Platten's fight song. That's such a great, I think yeah, it's lyrically, an anthem. Lyrically, it's just so powerful yeah. to get you through whatever thing you're going through at that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Colby Kalea came out with one, uh, the Try song. Yes. You don't have to try so hard. And uh, I thought that video was gorgeous Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I just, I, music is just such a powerful part of my life. I, I can't imagine not having it. And, and for other music fans, and I know you're all out there, you probably feel the same way. Yeah, let me go ahead and check in with some of the people on. Yeah, yeah. Facebook once again. Joel Morales really wants to know where you got your jacket. They oh, love uh, the jacket. <laughs> uh, this jacket is All Saints, actually. Um, I got it out in, in Los Angeles, but I've had it for a while now, and I plan on keeping it for the rest of my life. <laughs> it was that expensive. Oh, my God. I think I had to, like, you know, I, I don't even know what I had to do to get it. But, um, yeah, anyway, it's All Saints. So are you here now? Are you ba still based in Los Angeles? I'm still based in Los Angeles. I actually came into town just to just to see you guys. Oh, just to do your show, I'm so, so honored. So when you do come into town, I mean, obviously this is home for you. Yeah. What do you like to do when you're here in the valley? Well, first of all, I hit up AZ88 because that is like my spot to eat in Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. Also, Bliss Rebar on uh, over here downtown, actually. Yeah. It's an incredible uh, place. My, my buddy Mark owns it. But um, I love to just chill, actually, because it's such a, a circus in LA yeah. that when I come home, I stay with my dad or my mom or my best friend, and we just kind of like vegetate. <laughs> so it's cool and then uh, you know if I so happen to be able to sing with my band either straight up or true to life I'll wherever they're gigging so yeah and I'm, I'm doing a show with them at the aquarium at 10 a.m. on Sunday so um, I try to just get back I, I love getting back to my roots and every, you know it, it keeps you grounded mm -hmm. yeah and that's what I started off with was cover bands so it's cool to go back to that and they they've all learned my new song so it's kind of cool to perform that with my where I started so if viewers here in Arizona want to check you out live yeah you, uh, Sunday at the aquarium I'll be there at 10 a.m. okay you can check me out there and um, and then also the other shows are kind of spread out we're booking dates right now so if they just follow you on social media yeah. is what you're saying absolutely so D Hernandez music and that's all across the board D H E R D H E R N A N D E Z music um, and that's for Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook which one's your favorite of all the social media favorite? I gotta say Instagram I gotta say Instagram, because I mean, they ha I don't know, Instagram, you know, you give like a shot of what you want, but Snapchat's slowly climbing up there with me too. Uh, Snapchat so, won me over, it, yeah, it really yeah, yeah. has, because you don't have to worry about anything, there's less pressure, you're not worried, you, you can just write whatever, and, then the and there's no day, judgment, because there's, exactly, yeah. it deletes, it goes yeah. away, there's no judgment, you're not worried about likes or comments yeah, or yeah, yeah. interaction, it's just like, this is what's going on, and well, you forget and also, about you know, it. Like, everybody has that time where like they take a picture and the next day they're like, why would I take that picture? <laughs> Snapchat's cool, because you can go back to and be like, oh cool, it's already gone. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what, if it's you even deleted. add a snap to your story, and an hour later you're like, you know what, I really hate that snap, you can just delete, delete it. it. It's Bam. the best. And the rest of the world had no idea it even existed. <laughs> I love that.
It's great. Also, question. Do you only come home when the weather's cooled down? <laughs> At this point, I've, you came in basically the week that things have finally cooled down. This is I'm, my favorite time of year yeah. for Arizona. I mean, I grew up here, so I know how it feels to have like a hundred and like 85,000 degree weather. So uh, yeah, I only really come home <laughs> during the nice weather portions of it, but I do love me a good little, you know, pool day in Arizona during the summer. Right. It's just so hot sometimes that you can't enjoy it. Right. So, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm a valuable. Because the walking so. to the actual pool is just so unbearable. Well, by the time you get to the pool, you're already tan. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the sun beats down upon you. It's very true, though. I feel like yeah. I have to get multiple shades of makeup working here in Arizona because it's so true. Through the summer, I just get darker and darker. I was at Sephora yeah. the other day, and they're like, "Well, are the you going to be staying?" You? Yeah, they're the like, whole... "Are you staying this shade?" Or, well, the, it's not as hot anymore, yeah. so we might have to give you another shade. And I was like, "Isn't that so weird?" Because well, like nowhere just, else do they do. I that. didn't have to like, think about this yeah. when I lived in LA. I was just like, "Oh wow, I actually need." Yeah, it's a little. It's thing. the same color the whole year through. Yeah, most that's. Of the, I mean, time. unless you're laying out by the pool, yeah, it's like literally same color, same weather. That's the one thing I love about Los Angeles is the weather and the ocean and everything. Yeah, so it's cool. It's, I've been there for a while now, but I always come home, always come back to my roots. So my mom would kill me if I didn't. And so would my dad. He's been giving guilt trips lately. So. Well, congratulations on the new single, Thank the music you. video. Thank I listened you. to it earlier. I know you performed live on the morning show. Yeah. I know that clip is going to be going online on fox10phoenix.com, so for any viewers who want to check that out. Yes, absolutely. We did uh, Beautiful, the new single, and then we also did another upcoming single called Never Did. Never Did. So we performed that at the end of the segment. So. And what ne what is Never Did about? Never Did is about a relationship that failed epically, and uh, at the end of it all, I, what I wanted to try to say was, despite all the nasty words that were exchanged, like, I don't hate you, and I never have. Because hate's such a strong word. Like you word. never did. I never did. And that's exactly what it yeah. is because hate is such a strong word. I think we use it too much um, and it just, it, you know, when you let that build up inside you, it starts to affect your life and not the person who you're aiming it towards. Mm. So I wanted to, that song was sort of cathartic for me in terms of like, I'm just letting it go. Yes, you were a punk, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't hate you. Um, and that, yeah, that's, that's about my music's all very personal. I mean, it, you know, I take the pen to the paper and right. I try to, because I feel like authenticity is super important mm -hmm. when it comes to relating to an artist. I can't stand people who sing songs that they, they can't connect to, and you can feel that through the screen if they're connecting to it or not. So. That is very well said. Well, thank David, you. thank you so much for stopping by thank News you. Now. Thanks for stopping by and the morning any, show. I, your makeup looks great, by the way. Oh, I'm thank just you. Saying, whatever Sephora. shade you pick this time of year it looks fantastic. Makeup forever, <laughs> not velvet. She's thank gorgeous. you, random. Sephora employee. <laughs> yes, thank you for the color matching. That's I appreciate great. it. And let's go ahead and turn up the volume on this so the viewers can hear a little bit thank you. of your music video. Shoot. Sure. 